Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video, well this fortnight's video is about um, wall art and it's like wall art hack. A uh, wall art, Kmart, placemat hack. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically it's, that's what it's about. Um, so I was going to do, like I do, I post fortnightly, um, one video of fortnight. This is going to be this fortnight's video. Um, but I'm not doing that because... As it turned out, the videos, the, the hacks I did, I did three wall art hacks and it, they took a long time. So I think each wall art piece deserves its own video. So um, I'll be posting today, Sunday, I'll be posting Wednesday next week and then the following Sunday. And then my next video will be a fortnight after that. So there'll be three videos this week. Um, each, each video I'll be creating a piece of wall art. Um, cheap really cheaply i mean virtually some of them actually cost nothing because i had everything here um they've all been inspired though by what's current at the moment and what i've seen in shops like spotlight um and little homeware shops and that sort of thing um so i really hope you enjoy and i hope um you get some inspiration out of it um thank you for joining me and let's get started okay so i'm in my jimmy jams so I'm not going to show me. <laughs> uh, I'll just be showing what I'm doing with this particular one at the moment. So what I'm going to be doing um, with this particular one is I'm going to be putting like a, a whitewash on it. Um, it'll be similar to the, the actual um, placemat I stained with this brown color. I did that in the um, paper hacks video. But I'll be doing, um, it's actually a chalk, white chalk paint that I made. It was the chalk paint that was left over from the coffee table. Um, and I don't know how this is going to work actually, but I don't have any other. Well, I do have some of this white paint left, but I just thought I'd use the chalk paint. Um, it actually will need stirring. And what I'm going to do is water it down so it makes like a nice white, you know, see-through whitewash sort of thing. Um, so what I did here is similar to the other um, placemat in the other video. So I just, it's a Kmart placemat. It was $3. Um, on the back, I'm using the back side, which was not painted. and It was plain, but I did sand it back. So, um, because these placemats were used, so I wanted them to be, you know, nice and clean and no marks on it. So I did sand it back and I sanded the sides back too because the sides actually had uh, paint on it. So I took the paint off. So what I'm going to do is I might pop some, I'll pop this up here. I'll put some um, paint on here pop the lid back on and I'll just add a bit of water to it so we're going to make it runny so that when it goes onto the wood hopefully <laughs> um, you'll be able to see the um, wood underneath and you'll be able to see the nice grain so we just want it pretty um, watery um, I might actually have to wipe some of this off because it's not as watery as I wanted it to be but that's okay and keep going I think it's because I've got um, yeah a lot of sort of clumps of paint on the paintbrush that hasn't been watered down I did um, I did do another one this afternoon and that came up so well <laughs> and I was going to just redo that on the ca on camera but uh, I thought I'd do something different I will show you that one at the end and see which one looks the best um, the other one just yeah the other one actually looked amazing and um, can't wait to show you that one but this one should be okay how bad could it be I guess I got the inspiration for this I mean I've, I've adapted th this is my own hack I've never seen this hack done before um, and I've, I've just adapted um, what I saw at spotlight 
I got an idea off that and I'll pop that on the screen. I was on Spotlight the other day and um, I saw this, that, well, the picture that's on the screen and I thought, oh, well, that's a good idea. I'll try to do that. And I thought, how on earth, are, on earth am I going to do that? Because I thought, really? Um, yeah, it looked a bit difficult, but I had a great idea. <laughs> And I'll be showing you how I'm going to do that. So what I might do is just wipe it off now. So, um, yeah, we can see the grain through that. I don't actually want to wipe, wipe. I want it uh, nice sort of whitewash, lime wash type of thing. I just was so messy. So I going good it looks quite rustic actually I'm, I'm pleased I'm pleased with it because you know this doesn't have to be perfect it's I mean I'm just making it up as I go along I haven't seen this hack done anywhere um, so yeah how it turns how this one turns out I'm not sure but we'll see soon I guess I was going to, I'm going to put a stencil on here. <laughs> I mean, I was going to do it brown, but I think I might do it just like a more intense white, make it a bit more subtle than brown. So I don't know where to put them though. That's the only thing. I'll do this one. I might do one in the middle. Or I could do them sort of around the outside. Or I could just randomly put them somewhere. Okay, well, I'm just going to put one in the middle and see how that would look. <laughs> it's hard to get off. They stick down, so they should be... Yeah, I might just do it like in the middle. What's it for? So, we stick this down. 
to try something different. And so I'll get the white paint and I will just, these are meant to be stencil brushes. And so I will, <laughs> doesn't appear to be working the way I planned. Okay. I think I have to stir it, that might be good. <laughs> Mom, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the indigenous painting. Oh, that pink. oh, that pink one. Yeah, that'd be really nice. It'll really suit the area. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll just use that paintbrush to make sure I'll get a small. I'll try it now. This was the chalk paint. to be it's meant to be random um, okay so I'll just let that dry and then we'll do the next
this actually turned out so well. I was so pleased with it. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did do another one that afternoon. Um, it was different um, colours, basically, it was the same sort of principle. So I'll put that up on the screen now and show you what that looked like. I mean, I thought that turned out so well. And if you have a look in the middle, like the lights weren't on, the flash wasn't on, but it seemed to be glowing in the middle. So, um, yeah, I was really impressed with that one. So, but I did decide to do something a bit different for the video, and I'm glad I did. I think it has the one I did has like a Scandi sort of look to it, a Scandi sort of feel. Um, just the lime wash, the light colours. Um, yeah, I'm just so pleased with that, and I love it. Um, I have an idea for another one as well, but I might do a short shorts on that one and I'll speed it up um, and I'll show you. Yeah, but I've got a good idea for that one as well. So keep on the lookout for that. But um, also come back Wednesday and have a look at um, Wednesday's video because that will be another um, wall art hack there. Um, I hope you all have a great few days and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.